Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can self-host local fonts in Divi. Now, local fonts are fonts that are going to be stored on your web hosting rather than coming from an external source, such as the Google fonts, like the ones that are default in Divi. So we can actually disable that and upload that font locally to your hosting server and that will help you with some things like performance and GDPR laws and things like that. So let's get started. All right, so come on over to the blog post. I'll have some information here that you can read. You know, I say, what are local fonts? And, and that word local, it's referring to your hosting server rather than, you know, this other server. That's what the word local is referring to. So it's your website, but remember your website files are on your hosting server. So whatever, whatever that is, is where that you know, any up, anything you upload, like images and text, that's going to be hosted on your server. Um, your website is on your server, so fonts will be as well. So why would you even want to do this? Well, it should improve performance on your site, at least a little bit, because it doesn't need to be fetching it from that external location, right? So anytime there's a third party involved, you know, it's going to at least add something. Uh, I, I can't tell you how much that would be. That would be something you could actually test. Um, but that is, you know, a benefit. Now, privacy and GDPR compliance. That's probably going to be your number one and maybe the, the only primary reason you would want to do this. Um, you know, it's getting really strict with, with the privacy laws. So hosting your font locally will certainly get around that as far as I know. Now, customization would be another option. Maybe you, you simply want a font that isn't available on something like Google Fonts, right? You wanna have something unique or that fits your special use case. Well, now you can, so that's another reason why you would want to have a local font. All right, so how to do this? We're going to be using our plugin. It's a plugin that is like a utility plugin. It has tons and tons of features. There's 141 features at the time of this recording. Uh, it has a, a font helper, what we call it, and it allows you to you know, upload custom fonts and to manage those fonts locally, and it's through our own interface that it allows you to do that. It makes it really simple for you, basically. Now, there is one step that we need to do first, and that's noted here. In order to use Google Fonts locally, so we're gonna use Google Fonts as, as an example, right? You first need to disable a setting in the Divi theme options called Use Google Fonts. Pretty simple, right? That needs to be disabled. Um, otherwise, you would not be benefiting from this. So over in Divi theme options, you would go here and right here. Use Google Fonts. Turn that off. Save changes. Now you need to upload your font so that it can be hosted on your server. So we can do that by going into Divi Assistant right here find the fonts helper right here. So right here was one, we did another tutorial about allowing additional fonts, and here's the local fonts one. So any font that you have already uploaded will appear up here in the manage fonts, and it's gonna list the name of it, and it's going to list the font um, weights, you know, basically the styles that are available. Down here is where we actually do the uploading. So here you can read about it, um, about explaining how to upload those fonts. So basically you would choose the file. So you would go here and choose the file, give it a name. If it doesn't autofill, it should autofill from the file name, but you could, you could name it whatever you want to name it. And then here, choose the supported font weights that you want. So you could, you could specifically choose some here, right? Or you could choose all, and that'll kind of hide the rest of them. See that, whatever you want to do. And then say upload font gonna say it's uploaded successfully and then it will appear up here now I already had that one I used the same one but any fonts you add will appear here and when you are in the builder now let's go watch this Leto regular um, 900 that I uploaded let's go try to use that right because we want to make sure it actually is there right so here is a text module go to the design tab text Right here, I can look for um, this, this look at that, custom font right there. See that, Leto regular 
and you can see but that is definitely that font here watch this see that so we're definitely we're definitely choosing that and that's great I'm going to save it just to show you and exit the page there we go and we have successfully added a local font in Divi all right I hope you enjoyed that if you did definitely let us know and subscribe and we do kind of things like this every single week so that's what you'll get here on the channel all right well we'll see you all in our next video